everyone and welcome back to the life of a life coach. I am Sarah Brill and I am a transformative and financial coach. So I help people get clarity around their goals, help them get unstuck and hopefully move forward and start achieving them. So over the last couple of weeks I have filmed a few of these videos and at times there has been moments where there's been real motivation and I've been, I guess, really active and persistent in my mission. And sometimes we go through ebbs and flows and when that happens, we can experience real lows with the real highs. And what I wanted to do today is share with you a tool that I have found useful in my own life to help me get a little bit of perspective when I'm feeling a little bit stuck. And hopefully this can be something that you can use in your own lives as well. So the idea is called perceptual positioning. It does have a few names. I've heard it been called the astronaut effect, sometimes the helicopter effect. But the idea is that we get perspective on our situation and sometimes when we feel like we're in a bit of a rut or we're at a crossroads or we're feeling stuck, we really can't see a path through. And when we do exercises like this, it can help us to reframe and help us really move forward. So a little bit like going to the gym, if you like, or starting a new diet plan or something else. In life, we go through very similar things, and I think it's helpful that people have these tools so that they can use them in their own lives. So, how does it work? So, the idea is, is that you take on four different personas during this exercise. The first is being yourself. The second persona is being the person that you're talking to, and sometimes you can use this as like the inner voice in your head. The third is being the observer, and the fourth is being the distant observer. You can imagine this. It is helpful to create a scenario where you're actually sitting physically in two different positions. So for this, if I just take on the first persona as myself, I would simply share what challenges I'm facing. So for example, right now, maybe I'm feeling a little bit stuck in my business. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit stuck in life or in general. Maybe you don't know exactly what you want to achieve. Really ask yourself the question around what is it that you are experiencing right now? And it could be even um, challenges with a relationship. So imagine if you were talking to this other person who's sitting right here, what would you say to them? And in this scenario, I'm going to use my inner voice. So perhaps some people might call it the monkey mind. I'm going to use my inner voice. I would tell my inner voice something like, I'm feeling really stuck right now. I don't know what I want to achieve. I'm feeling really overwhelmed and a little bit stuck in procrastination. So I keep trying to take action in my business but when I hit a no I retreat back into myself and lose motivation. This is just an example so you might use that how you resonate with it. Now if we take on the second persona this would be the inner voice right so if you were talking to another person you would use the secondary position as the other person. So for me, if I'm using the inner voice as an example, I would say the inner voice might be thinking, well, you're always trying to do too much at once, or you have real motivation, but sometimes you put yourself under a lot of pressure and that stops you from taking action. Or maybe the inner voice is saying, you start to feel motivated, but I feel like you lose sight of your mission when you're doing that and you get stuck in your own head and you're not quite sure where to go next. Something along those lines. So now what I'm gonna do is take on the position of the observer. So I'm just going to move myself. So in this case, the observer might be observing the situation between these two people or one person and um, their inner voice. And you would simply observe what's going on in this situation. So for example, you might observe and say, well, 
this person is experiencing a little bit of trouble in their own life and they're very stuck in their, their mind at the moment and they want to get out of their own head. And this is a conversation between two people who are trying to work through whatever it is that they're trying to work through. And you state what you observe about the interaction. So you might say, well, this person is speaking to themselves in an unkind way. Maybe they could be speaking to themselves in a kinder way that serves them and helps them move forward. Now, I'm not going to do this because I'll be too far away from the camera, but then you would take on a fourth persona and move back even further. And I'll move back here for this, but you would take on a fourth persona and move back even further and become the distant observer. And from the distant observer, you would ask yourself, what do you observe? What do you see? So what do you notice about the person one? And what do you notice about person two? And what do you think is going on for person one? And what is going on for person two? And if number two was there, what would you say? So the idea being that you're getting perspective and you're moving further away to get perspective on this situation. Now, there are many ways of doing this. Some people might not have this conversation between two people. They might simply call it the astronaut effect, where they take a massive step back and imagine that they are an astronaut in space, looking down, observing this conversation between two people or between this one person and themselves. And that hopefully should reframe things because when you take a step back in life and you start to observe and you start to go, okay, what's really going on? You really get the sense that there is so much more to life. There is so much more going on that sometimes we get stuck in our own heads and channeled through our own lens that we forget that there's a million other opportunities out there. And I hope that this tool is useful for you. I don't know if I've demonstrated it in the best way possible, but it hopefully can be a tool that you can use in your own lives to help you get a little bit of perspective and shift some of those thoughts that you're currently having. So I hope that you're all having a great day despite the thunder and it being spring, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.